This new lovable feature is going to save you money. So I've been reading the comments on all of my lovable videos, and it seems like there's one common problem all users are running into. And that is that you are burning through your credits and wasting money over little changes to your apps. Well, this new feature is gonna help with that. I've been playing around with it and it's been so useful when you're building apps and you wanna save money and you don't wanna waste money on these credits. So without further ado, let's dive in. I'm gonna show you exactly what I mean. All right, guys. So I figured I'd dive right into a lovable project. I actually built this kind of software that allows you to test thumbnails to increase your YouTube reach. So that way you can make sure that thumbnails and titles look good before you post the videos. But basically what I wanna show you is this new feature inside of Lovable, obviously, that's gonna save you guys so much time and so much money. It's gonna save you on tokens and whatnot. And guys, this feature is actually awesome. I really, really love this. So first of all, you're gonna come down here and you're gonna see where this used to say select. It now says edit. So what this does is it allows you to actually edit certain aspects of our application. And the reason that this is so game changing is because we don't need to go in and type and try to explain what we're trying to edit now. We could even just go in and edit this manually and you save a bunch of money on credits because you're not wasting credits trying to change, you know, the font to a little bit different style or maybe you want to make the text a little bit bigger. But now you don't actually have to waste your credits on that. So this guy is going to save you so much money. But money aside, it's just very easy to use. So basically what I could do is I could come and Let's for example, click on this background and I could either make this transparent or I could like change the color of it. So you can see I could choose all these different colors here and kind of just basically customize this however we want. So I think like this looks cool, but why don't we just come to custom and play around and see how we can make this look? Like you can see, we could make this a little bit bluer and we don't need to explain this to lovable anymore. Guys, this is gonna be a game changer when it comes to building amazing looking softwares. And like, I think this is 10 steps ahead of any other of these platforms out here simply, you know, for these little features that they're adding seemingly every week. But let me go ahead. Let's try to actually, you know, mess around with this. We can play around with the border radius. We can change the color of these different aspects here. So there's these different elements on the user interface. And basically, you just need to select them and then you can make an edit to them accordingly. So, you know, we could change these to whatever we want. Like, let's just play around. You know, I like this there. You know, I think that looks good. I could come here. I could like, again, I could change the size of the text. Let's go to like extra large. Let's go to 7XL. You know, we could just easily, easily change this. Okay, and then for example, we could actually click on this button here. Say we don't want it to say subscribe now. We want it to say something like log in. So we could just simply change this now instead of having to instruct our AI agent in Lovable to do so. So this is just, you know, helps help speed up the process of us being able to make an app and like customize it as much as we want. Again, YouTube thumbnail tester. Like I could change this to whatever I want. That's great. I could change the color of it. I mean, I could make it black. I could make it white. I could add a custom color to it. So all these aspects of the user interface face are actually editable. And let me go into actually, once I log into this account for the software, I'm gonna edit some other things. So now I'm logged into the app. I actually built this in a previous video. It's a 40 minute long video of me recreating a software I paid money for and then actually building my own so I could use it myself, cancel my subscription and then sell it to others. So this I actually built obviously with Lovable. We can upload a thumbnail here and then we could add a title and then we could kind of test how it'll look on YouTube. So basically say this AI creates content for me. And then basically all we need to do is like, we could see what it'll look like inside of a YouTube feed. We could randomize this feed to see what it'll look like. See if our thumbnail and title stands out. It has a light and a dark mode. So this looks great. However, if we want to make a change, instead of having to go and like ask Lovable to do it for us, I could literally just click on the elements and edit it myself. So let's just say like, maybe I don't like the color of this texture. So let's just go. I'm going to change this to maybe extra bold here. I'm going to make the font size. I guess that's a little bit too big. Let's make that 6X. And then let's go ahead and change the color. Let's just come over to custom color. And then like, let's change this to maybe like, I don't know, whatever color, we're, whatever color we're feeling here. Maybe we'll go red. Let's like make that a red color or something. So there we go. And then obviously we could change the, the font size. Okay, that looks great. Same thing here. Maybe you don't want this to say your thumbnail. Let's just say thumbnail to test your title. And then let's say preview feed actually is good here. Padding, we could change the padding here. So if we want it to be like, you know, we could change the positioning essentially. So we don't need to explain to lovable where we want it to go. So that is great. Again, we could change the like, you know, the weight of the font here. And then another thing we could do is we could actually come down and go to advanced, change this to any specific like kind of configuration of 
like the text or whatever, however you want it to look, we could get it from like custom code for that. Or we could essentially just ask Lovable and just say, hey, I want you to change it like this and kind of explain how we wanted to change things. So let me click on this border radius. I could change the border radius of this. I could go ahead, I could click on the button of this. I could change whether I want it to be transparent or if I want it to be, you know, a certain color. And then maybe for whatever reason, I just don't like the look of this button here. I could come here, I could, change the color let's change this to maybe like gray or something like that light blue there we go that looks a little bit better so then all we got to do is click save and now we have this updated so let me go ahead just last thing here let's just change the background maybe i don't like the color of this background let's change this to like something a little bit more you know not fully white we can make it like a little bit a light gray or something let's change this text back to like i don't know let's change it to white and then we could obviously change the the size of the text so there we go, click save. And next thing you know, we have a user interface that is completely different than before. And one thing I would like to mention is we do not burn any credits here. So instead of having to go back and forth with AI, this now like essentially just like made all these edits for us and we were able to be very specific with it. So guys, I hope this actually helps you guys out. I've been enjoying this new feature in Lovable. I think it'll be helpful to, like I said, make small edits on your platform without having to burn through credits because that is a thing with these text to web app platforms. A lot of you guys say, hey, I'm burning through credits building my apps, making little changes. So this will save you guys a bit more money and will make your tokens go a longer way. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Subscribe, leave a like, leave a comment. I'll see you guys in the next video.